Welcome back, everybody. Hey, hello. Welcome back to the Finca in sunny southern it's Spain. It's not raining. It's not sunny. It's, it's a bit sunny, yeah. Um, a bit sunny. Tiny little bit of blue sky. It's the first day we've had without rain for oh, and a bit of sunshine about for ten mid, days. Yeah, getting up for two weeks. So yeah. fantastic. So we're so, hoping to uh, crack on now. Yeah, and hopefully summer's on its way because when it does come, it will be absolutely scorching. Yeah, I'm sure it, it will. will and then we'll be complaining with you about the heat. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so what are we on today? Well, I'm going to get that pointing done eventually Seems now that the, the rain stopped. Right. Um, yeah. And I'm going to get the top of this door made and fitted, hopefully. Um, Excellent. Plus more things, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Let's get on with it. So, the door. Um, fantastic. What I want to do, I want to put a slope on this bit here. And then the same slope on the top door. So when they meet, the two, the two slopes will slope together um, with a, a weather strip in between um, the difficulty it's, it's awkward and difficult the difficult bit I've got is um, I want the one off the top door to come out um, a little bit further to make a drip head so if any water does come down here which it, it shouldn't do anyway but it'll just drip off and not go into the door if that makes sense um, so I've got a piece of wood let me come out and um, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to cut it diagonally, sort of, and then I want to try and get one of these at the edges, the grooves, because that will then, on, on a drip, I don't know if you've ever seen old windowsills, wooden ones and stuff, they always put a groove in them, so when the water comes down and runs round, it drips off where it hits that groove, it can't track any further that way. So that's my plan for this. If that doesn't make any sense at all, I'll make it and show you. I hope you can make that out. Um, so the, the easy ones cut for the top of um, the door here and it slopes up like that way. So when the other door closes against it, that'll have the same slope. I can put a strip of weather seal along it. I'm not very good at this pointing thing, am I? And um, when they meet, they'll be sealed. The problem I've got now is making them on for the top door. Right, I don't know if you can make that out. It's difficult to hold it, but we've got two pieces. The bottom piece will sit on the bottom door and then they're at an angle so when they meet, when they close, it'll seal it like that and then I can hold it in the right place. You see the little bit here, any water that comes down here will get to there and drip off and not run into the door. Oh, that's the theory. Um, so all I've got to do now, um, get the bottom one fitted to the bottom door and get the top door made and then get this fitted to that. We're off. <laughs> Oh dear, the joys. A nice sticky mix though, so it should be quite easy to get it to stick there. Yeah, and the sun's still shining, so that's good. Dry everywhere up. So as always, a bead of glue. Just like that. Where's my nail up? There it is. And then I'm just gonna nail it on, make sure I get it the right way around. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay, get it right in the corner, it's slippy as always, the glue makes it really slippery. Right, that's the first one in. I'll get the rest of them in. Right, so it's on, a bit of glue's oozed out. We'll just get a damp cloth or a damp bit of tissue and it just wipes off. Get it before it goes hard, otherwise you'll never get it off. Lovely. Right, now I can measure the top bit, um, how high I want the top to go. The next thing I need to do is notch out these for where it sits the frame, because this is obviously going to protrude so it wouldn't be a drip head. So I need to take a notch out of that side and a notch out of this side. Um, so I'll go and do that now. Alright, so Sharon's outside in the light and I'm here in the dark. I've put my piece on top, I've notched it out, I've sanded it down, it looks lovely. Um, and I've measured up 
to be clear as where I want my height and my things. I'm going to allow a bit for the thick weather seal that's going to go in between these two. Um, so 660 is academic but that's the measurement um, that I'm looking for. So I can now go and build the top of the door. So we're getting there. Um, a bit on the stones but that'll brush off when it's dry. Um, I'm just trying to blend it into the existing render because we haven't got time to take the rest of that off at this moment in time. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make it blend in as much as possible. Um, yeah, happy days! So we're back in the workshop. How exciting, we're going to have a back door soon. Um, if you remember, I ripped all these down. Um, if you saw the other video a couple of days ago, I can't remember when it was. I ripped all these down so they're the same width as the bottom doors. All I need to do now is trim all these to the length that I want and make two ledges um, to go across. And um, yeah, jobs are good. And I've just got to make sure when I assemble these that I put them the right way, the right order, so it's the same as the other door. Um, so first thing go, get them cut to length, rip another piece down to make the ledges with, get all the cutting done, and then we can start to assemble it. So all my pieces are cut, um, same as last time, I've just got them clamped to the table, um, dead square with the table. I'm just going to start with this end one, I'm going to glue it and um, nail it and then just work my way along until we've got them all in. Make sure you get it in exactly the right place. Stick one nail in the corner so you've got a bit of play if you need to. And we need some more nails. <laughs> I'll just put some, I'll just fill it up. Right, the nail gun's reloaded. We'll try that again. There we go. It's going to get one in there. one in this one, then check it, check it across there, spot on, we'll just check it there, spot on, right, get them in, Okay, I'm going to carry on with these. Only difference is now I'm going to put a, a bead of glue along the tongue of each one as well as they go in um, just to make, make it solid. So I'll get them in. Right, last one. Um, super. We'll flip it over in a minute, make sure any glue's not come out underneath. Wipe that off if it has while it's still wet and then we can get the rest of it finished off. I've just tried it in dry and it fits perfectly which makes me very happy but we did expect that anyway didn't we? Oh, we got this bit on there and a bit on there and away we go, slide him in Lovely. Get the last nails in. And there it is. We 
was flipping it over now and then um, no way I've got glue come out you see so I'll get that off while it's still wet okay, well, it's nice and clean um, all we've got to do now is put the little strips in um, to cover the hinges remember on the other door I only did one side um, but I'm actually going to do both sides of this one and I'm going to put another piece on the other the other bottom half of the door just to make it look a, even and a bit beefier but first I'll get these on while I'm here and then we'll go around there and do that one there we go, same again, clear the glue do it drop him in snug as a bug that one snug as you like and um, whack a couple of nails in it making sure it doesn't move <laughs> so slippery when the glue is in come on okay one right I've got the other side in yes if you remember I put a piece in here um, to carry the hinges and I'm going to match it up on that side as well so it looks like a, a decent frame for it and um, so I'll just measure it cut it and then we'll come and stick it in right so that's done we've still got the threshold to sort out um, and someone's on a cracking job there all the stonework above the door and down both sides of the frame is all pointed in um, so we are making some progress at last fantastic <laughs> Well, it seems to be um, three steps forward, one step back at the minute. Um, do you remember that flu, the troublesome flu, the ever troublesome flu? Um, I, I rigged it up so it, 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 what it does, it condenses a lot of water in the pipe up there because it's so cold and uh, it, a lot of water runs down inside. We thought we'd solve the problem and put a catch tank on it. Um, we knew it was going to have to be sorted out properly eventually, but as a stop gap to get us through um, the winter, and last night it sprang a leak and ran up all down the wall with this black stuff which we're now going to have to get off. Um, so the time has come, um, I'll go and show you what the problem is and how it, how it is going to be solved. So this is our wonderful, fabulous wood burning stove um, which heats this place and the bedroom and the bathroom admirably. Um, the flue goes up there, it then goes through that wall and runs through the bedroom as you can see there so it comes in here runs out the wall over there and then goes up um, above the roof so this is done quite commonly in Spain and um, they run the flue pipe thinking logically that it heat the bedroom well it doesn't um, the pipes once it goes into the bedroom it's cool um, there's no heat in it at all not enough to even vaporize the the vape the water in it there um, and the, the, if we open the bedroom door, the heat from in here just goes in there and warms it up lovely anyway, which is what it does. So what we're going to do, um, another future project coming up, as soon as the weather gets better, an interesting one, this pipe is going straight up through the roof here, out and up, so it'll work properly and give us no more grief. At the moment, I've just managed to bodge it up again um, in the hope to stop it leaking. It's just got to last a week or so until... The, the sun comes back, it's, it's due back um, the 1st of April apparently but it's going to be a bit unsettled until then so fingers crossed um, we can just you know keep it going until then and then we're going to fix it so another interesting project coming up anyway let's get this door done all right, we're just back from taking the dogs for a walk. Yes, um, and if we look like drowned rats, that's because we are. We took the opportunity, it wasn't raining. And yeah. then, as soon as we got a, a, well, a third of the way out there, up, up that big hill behind us, it started. So we're damp now, moist. <laughs> um, right, so, we're going to get this door finished off. It's here, so you can see it. Um, I'm just going to stick this trim on the bottom, the drip head, remember, the we made yesterday. And, um, Yes, it is that one, isn't it? And then um, Shannon's going to oil it. I am. So you get your oil ready. I'll get it fixed on. Okay, let's go. There's clamps in place because it's an illusion just to see how it fitted. Um, take the clamps off a minute. So, as always, make sure I get it the right way around. <laughs> 
P the glue. Go that way on there like that. So I'll put the glue on this edge here. Not too much because it's going to come out in it, you just know it is. Right, stick him where we want him. It's not going to be easy to hold. It's slidey again, as always, when the glue's on it. I'm just going to whack a nail on it, I think. One in the middle first. Until it So there it is, um, top half of the door, drip heads in, um, now ready for oiling, um, so let's put it on these blocks I think again. And then we go, that's how I can oil it. We're off, nice new brush this morning, that's a luxury been using right old things that were all stiff and no matter how much you clean them after a while they're just uh, all sticky and not good to use so nice new brush this morning super it's getting excited now and um, that size done looks absolutely wonderful just going to flip it over and do the other side if I can get it to sit on these blocks um, put one there for him. Wonderbar. Right, let's get the side done. Right, okay, we're getting there. The oil is done. All that remains now is to put the hinges on. And I one down there at the bottom, and another one up there at the top. And um, I've just noticed we've just passed 2,500 subscribers. Amazing stuff. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, we're pleased that you enjoy the video. We're pleased that you want to follow our progress. Um, yeah, thank you. Anyway, I'll get these on. <laughs> just a bit, a bit overwhelming sometimes that so many people um, find it interesting. So, onwards and upwards. I'm going to pile them first, like I did with the others because the screws will split this wood. In fact, I'm going to mark them first. I've got my pen here. Pile them, stick the screws in, and then we need to let it dry because I want to put the weather seal on the top half underneath um, because if it was on the bottom half, when I'm leaning on it, um, doing my farmer thing, uh, it'd probably get damaged or something. So at least if it's under here, it's out of the way. It's not going to get damaged. So, hinges. Um, hinges are on. Um, just need to let this dry a little bit more so my weather seal will stick to it. So we're going to have a spot of lunch. That is when Shannon's just finished this, the, the best of the frame. Nearly there. Right, suitably refreshed after a spot of lunch. Um, I've got my weather seal, I've just caught a strip the length of the door. Um, I find what you've got to watch with this is when you put it on, try not to stretch it um, because it tends to creep back in time. I'm going to stick it right on the front under the drip head um, so no water, if I stuck it in the middle or at the back some water will be able to potentially get in there so I'm going to stick it right on the front I'm going to try and hopefully the stuff's dry enough um, that it'll stick to it. <laughs> Pop him on there. 
so I've stripped them out already and it's not looking good I might clean that off with a bit of um, acetone or something I think I'll come back to you in a minute now it seems to have stuck I think what if I put it in place that'll stick it up to it as well uh, if it comes off I'll have to stick it back on at a later date but for now at least it, I want it mainly in for the spacing I'm going to sit this on top of the door in there because remember that's got the other angle on it the both at an angle um, and that'll hold that in place and get it at the right height so we'll take it through there and see if we can get it in position right it's in um, <laughs> All I did, I just stood it on top, stood it up. I'm going to have to knock um, some of these stones away, just a little bit off it. It's just catching, um, but I'll do that in a minute when it's in. Um, yeah, but it's, it's looking pretty good, it looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to stick these hinges on now and um, we'll do the next phase after that. We need to put a bolt on to bolt them two together. I didn't want to put that on before because I didn't know where this was going to be. Um, so yeah, wonderful. Hinges going on. Alright, it won't open. Surprise. <laughs> so I just need to get rid of some of this stuff off here. As suspected. Just a little bit here now, I'll get that off. So there we go. Um, you can get that out now. It opens. And the top bit separates as well. We have a stable door. How fab's that? Um, right, I think we'll get a bolt on next. Good tight seal as well. Excellent. And then, um, so. Time to bolt them together. Right, okay, so I'm gonna put the bolt there so that gives us enough room to get this in and out without it obstructing it. Um, actually, I could put it over there, couldn't I, as well. It still gives us enough room. Yeah, I'll put it closer to the end because obviously it's um, probably more secure. Right, so six screws, eight screws, we get it on. Right, super, it's done, it's fitted, it works. Um, next thing I think, well, there's a couple of things we need to do yet. Um, need to think about a handle on it, um, inside and outside. I'm probably gonna put a Suffolk latch on it like we've got on the other doors. I'll see if I can get a Suffolk latch on it. Um, maybe, or maybe i just put two pull handles on it. Just if we go out that way and we just wanna close it just to click it shut. Um, and then at the bottom there you can probably see the light shining through there used to be um, a stone threshold across there but obviously with all the water damage that's come down from this gutter that's done this wall it's in time it's just it's just damaged it degraded it and it actually fell off last year I think we walked past and knocked it and it came off so we're gonna have to rebuild that as well again something probably put something in maybe some concrete with big stones and some um, obviously we don't want it too high because it would be a trip hazard um, this is, <laughs> the cat's confused <laughs> you see <laughs> you've got a door haven't you um, so yeah and then the weather seal again has got to go around the outside um, where they are. but given the performance I've just had with this one I'm going to let that dry um, super thoroughly before we do um, so I'll go and see about some uh, a latch for it. So there it is, door pointing done. You can see this strip here. Um, it's a different colour. It's because Sharon forgot to oil it. <laughs> um, it was but, added afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it needs a second coat, all of it anyway. Um, so it'll all blend in. As I say, that green on the outside there will go exactly the same colour as I showed you on the other door that's up there. So, anyway, we'll crack on handles. Uh, and I forgot, of course, like all the other doors, it was this lucky horseshoe on there. Um, I'm sure we've got a couple more um, in the workshop at the moment. So, yeah, a bit of door furniture. Should finish it off nicely. Right, okay, so 
not easy to put stuff at latch on it um, because it can't. It needs something to hook onto to drop over. If you're familiar with the suffer latch, and um, we can't put that on the outside because of the way the frame works, and we can't do it on the inside because of the way the frame works. Um, so I think what we're going to do, um, the only time we're going to want to close this is if we go out into the courtyard and we're upstairs in the apartment, for example. Maybe if it's windy or you know bad weather, or even if it, when it's boiling or to keep the heat out. So I think. We're just going to put a, a hook and eye on it, you know, a big chunky um, hook and eye. Um, I probably won't make one of those because you can get them quite cheap, they can't be nice black ones. And we found a horseshoe. Look at that. How scabby and manky is that? Um, but I'm going to clean it up and um, stick it on this door. Um, that's not cleaned up too badly, has it? A lot of character in it, that's for sure. Um, so I'm going to stick a little paint on it now. and. Um, we have it on our door. Well, probably tomorrow now because I need to let it dry overnight. But um, yeah, really pleased with that. Well, the weather's um, brightened up quite a lot, but it's a really cold wind now. Um, not long now, and we should be coming into spring for real. Anyway, um, this chain here belongs to this door. Um, I think they use them as a security chain or just to, so they can have a draft through without having the door open. Not sure. Every door's got them, but. This is going to be made, and we're going to be stoning this up and putting a window in it. So, we don't need this. So, I'm going to try, if I can, get this out of the wall somehow and stick it in the wall outside. It's got a hook on it. Uh, I've taken the hook off the other side of this door and um, to use to hold our new back door uh, closed if we want to close it from that side. Um, it's not for security or anything, it's just for comfort convenience that's all um, so see if I can get this out of the wall that took a bit of getting out <laughs> um, so there it is so I'm gonna fix that into the wall I need to make a hole in the wall and then that will go that will hook onto me a hook there that's gonna go onto the door I'm not gonna do anything with it it's an old rusty chain it's original of the house um, and that's how it's staying um, fab so Next thing, I need to look at a couple of um, door pulls, one for the inside and one for the outside to close it and to open it. So back in the workshop. All I've done, I've just fashioned a couple of um, simple handles out of a bit of flat bar basically. Um, I just need to drill a hole in each end, that'll go on the door, like that, pull, whatever, perfect. Hole in each end to put the, to screw it onto the door obviously, and then paint them black. Um, super, so I'm going to do that now, hopefully, and get them done, it'll get it dry today. I've worked out where I want it to go in the wall, I've marked it, and I'm just going to drill a hole. <coughs> so that's where it's going to be. Um, I'm just going to blow it out with the blower, and then resin this in place with that resin you've seen me use before. The um, thingy resin there fixing resin yeah special design for things like this um excellent so let's get it stuck in place okay take him out it's gonna fall off is it give it a blow the beauty of this stuff is um they have a resealable top on them, all you need is a, is a new mixer nozzle on it. It says strength here up to 1100 kilos, pull out, 1100 kilos, fab, I think that should do it. Right, and then we just get it to the end of the thing, and then fill up our hole. as well when it's cold and then shove it in that way I think it was wasn't it and that's it flick the excess off I'll point in after and um, take the nozzle off put the cap back on this before it sets because it's got long 
Right, there's our lucky horseshoe on the door. It's a bit misshapen, very old and characterful. Um, all I need to do now is wait for that um, resin to dry in that hook. Put my little hook in here, figure out where I want it, um, but I need to close the door. Wait for the handles to dry, flip them over, spray the backs of them, and then they can go on. Um, I'm going to leave the door sealed for now, like I said earlier, um, until this linseed oil is completely, totally dry. This needs another coat anyway, probably give the frame one, so that'll wait a little bit. So, yep, yeah, I'll just um, let's have some lunch. Right, okay, so the handles are ready, done. Look at them, dead simple, dead efficient, effective, they work. Um, I'm just going to pop this one on there. I've done the outside one already, and then we'll show you what it looks like. So there it is, that's the inside done. Um, we've still got a sort. Um, the draft excluders on it, but as I said earlier, we need to wait until the, it's had a second coat of linseed oil and it's dead dry and do that threshold at the bottom, but that can wait for another day. And that's what it looks like from the outside. Um, happy days, we've got a door. Well, despite the weather, we have actually achieved something this week. Look at our oh. lovely door, and we're all pointed and uh, We've got a wonky well horseshoe. <laughs> a well-worn horseshoe, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's it. We've run out of time again. We're cold. We're going to try and get warm. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider subscribing as always. And uh, we'll see you on Thursday. See you then.